एवं जनम निपति प्रभुवाहि कूपे कामा काम मनु यपतनो प्रसंगा कृत्वात्मसात सुरर्षिन भगवान् गृहीत सो अहम कथम न विसृज्य तव भीत एवं जनम निपति प्रभुवाहि कूपे कामा काम मनु यपतनो प्रसंगा कृत्वात्मसात सुरर्षि न भगवान् गृहीत स्वहम कथम न विसृज्य तव भीत गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट गुरु वैष्णव सेवा दैट इज द ओनली पैथ वे ओपन फॉर अस दैट प्योर गुरु वैष्णव सेवा दैट इज द ओनली पैथ वे ओपन फॉर अस बाय दैट दैट वी कैन गेट आउट ऑफ द मटीरियल बॉन्डेज ऑफ मटीरियल माया That is the only path we open for us. Gauriya Goshti Pati Shri Shila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupad Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that for those people, for those individual in their life, that for those individual in their life, that Paramahansa Guru Vaishnav onto the lotus feet all the time, that kind of uh, uh, continuous seva vritti they haven't got up till now. definitely to, in order to do the association of those people you are finding it very sweet now you are feel finding it as a nectar their association but it is not at all you just need to make sure you have to quit that that paramhans guru vishnu want to the lotus feet that those that all the time continuous seva vritti that it is not at all there at all Prabhupada speaking that whatever association you will be finding it very sweet like a nectar their association but you just need to quit that definitely you just need to leave that kind of association you just need to leave whether he is my brother he is my father or whether he is my he is my husband whether he is my she is my wife whether he is my son whosoever he is we just need to leave the association those who are chaitanya vimukh who are actually those who are chaitanya vimukh we just need to leave the association we just need to quit their association 100% that those who are chaitanya vimukh nijo jane jani po bhakti mun thakur actually speaking this chaitanya vimukh nijo jane jani po chaitanya vimukh hone se by those who are chaitanya vimukh that our mother father wife husband whosoever he is we just need to leave them because they are not at all ours at all they are actually against korang mahaprabhu si chaitanya vimukh that those who are kyunki why because these people bhagwan ka vimukh they are actually against bhagwan and someone actually are questioning us regarding this that who who is actually against gorang mahaprabhu and who is not how we can understand that difference that who are against gorang mahaprabhu and who are actually uh, who are not against gorang mahaprabhu they are actually in line with gorang mahaprabhu how we can understand how we can understand this difference because every peop, every person is in the way of sanyas and tilak mala everything they have how we can understand that difference that we can have this kind of difference differentiation that they are actually against gorang mahaprabhu the actual answer the prabhupad speaking that prabhupad ji speaking regarding this that just be careful prabhupad speaking just carefully with full attention you just see that these those people who are just taking the achar acharan of pure guru vishnu they are against that those they are actually all against mahaprabhu externally they are actually very nice they are speaking like nectar maharaj very you will be seeing very very nice sweet topics they are speaking that is just kind of sweet knife they are actually applying on your head on your neck just to cut your neck they do, they have only this they don't have anything no siddhant gyan no bhajan nothing they have only very sweet nectar words they are actually this is the only sweet knife they have that's it
they can only speak sweet that's it they don't have anything apart from that prabhupada is speaking that those who are chaitanya vimukh those who are against chaitanya mahaprabhu what is the actual uh, thing that you can ha- notice him that they, you can notice that who, what is the actual symptom who are against chaitanya mahaprabhu how you can understand prabhupada is speaking prabhupada is speaking we just carefully understand this point you carefully see this that his adar आचार आचरण सिद्धांत गुरु वैष्णव प्योर गुरु वैष्णव आचरण दे आर एक्चुअली अगेंस्ट दैट दे आर एक्चुअली अगेंस्ट द आचरण ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव एक्सटर्नली दे आर वेरी स्वीट डेफिनेटली यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे आर एक्चुअली अगेंस्ट महाप्रभु दैट श्री वॉट दैट चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज वॉट इज दैट परात पर अखिलेश्वर वॉट इज दैट नॉट ट्रांसेंडेंटल ऑब्जेक्ट इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कंप्लीटली in order to understand in each and every step we, in order to understand that chaitanya mahaprabhu what is that vastu what is that object that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu what is that transcendental object shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is in order to understand that completely in every frame in every you just need to leave a satsang whatever kind of association that is a satsang is there why because these people these individuals in the in the name of bhajan that every nutrients of the bhajan vitals of the bhajan they are eating up like those who are actually taking a lot of good food but in their body nothing is actually going on nutrients are not at all getting absorbed in the body they don't know this point that they are eating very nice food that inside their um, liver there is one kind of uh, bombs bombs are there in the liver so the so whatever nutrients or nice vitals of the food whatever kind of rasa of the out of the food they are just eating that up in your body that's it that whatever kind of good nutrients which are there in the body they will be just during the before the assimilation of the food they will be just after assimilation whatever nutrient nutrients which are required in the body they will be just getting eaten up by those worms in your liver they will be eating that up proper speaking that the body whatever kind of nutrients or nutrients provided in vitamin minerals provided by the food that all vitals of the nutrients of the food they are actually getting eaten up by those worms clemic eat the one kind of worm inside our body which will eat up all the nutrients that's why proper speaking that definitely you just need to leave the association of these people because they will not allow you to do bhajan at all because they will be eating up all the vitals of the bhajan and you you will be getting poverty stricken of the spiritual life you will be poverty stricken in your spiritual life fully poverty will be there in your spiritual life there is no other pathway open for you to follow guru vaishnav under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav that under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we have to do bhajan that is very much important maybe in the starting of your bhajan भजन इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू डू बिकॉज आत्मसमर्पण इट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू डू इफ आत्मसमर्पण इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर हंड्रेड परसेंट देन इफ आत्मसमर्पण इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर हंड्रेड परसेंट देन डेफिनेटली फॉर यू दैट साधन भक्ति टू स्टार्ट ऑल्सो इट्स वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट द श्लोक विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विथ टूडे द श्लोक विच आई हैव स्टार्टेड विथ टूडे that shlok what it is written there evam janam nipatitam prabhava hi kupe kama vikam manupya prapatano prasangya kritva mushat surar sina bhagavan hita shoham katham visrijji tava bhi to seva this actually is the is the pravachan of prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj is speaking that oh bhagwan that one after another one after another that kind of material vasana material desires lusty desires are by that effect of lusty desires and material desires i am actually falling down from my sadhan kriya that all those uh, just by associating with all those asat sangi human beings i am actually getting into the well of uh, uh, blind well like a blind 
I have just fall down, fall down into that uh, blind well where there are lot of snakes. A lot of snakes are there all around me. Only snakes and snakes are there. That's it. That is just a blind well. It's a blind well. It is full of snakes. Here actually I have fallen down, and now I don't have any support to live. So how I can live now? But only your what your only sevak that all your nitya sevak Naraji Maharaj that your nitya sevak Naraji Maharaj he has done kripa on me and I have just gone from he is just making me as his disciple and he has just by his kripa of Naraji Maharaj that he has done full kripa on me and has just uh, made me one disciple one of his disciples and has given shelter onto his lotus feet and after that I am getting the topmost Siddhstiti uh, Siddhstiti in my life and he has also given me the instruction also about how to do bhajan and nowadays that kind of instructions also who, who, like this they are actually speaking Diksha this is actually Diksha <laughs> Diksha is a very uh, deep meaning is there. So whatever is there, I will speak it later. So here actually Parlan Maharaj speaking that he has given me instructions also and our my my first uh, my first uh, uh, thing is that I have to serve my, his lotus feet. How I can leave his seva? Leave the seva of Taraji Maharaj. It's not at all possible for me to leave the seva of pure Guru Vaishnav. That Guru under the Anugatya of Guru Vishnu Bhajan is possible. Our, and our own pathway, by our own will, we cannot do bhajan at all. That's it, that is not at all bhajan by our own will which we are doing. Prabhupada speaking that uh, sadhana kriya and sadhana bhakti it is not at all one and the same sadhana kriya and sadhana bhakti it is not one and the same it is not one and the same it looks like uh, one but it's not the same it looks like one but it's not the same like that it looks like the same externally but it is not at all same at all it is totally different it looks the same that sadhan bhakti and sadhana kriya it looks like the same but it's not one and the same it's totally different sadhana kriya that is actually uh, the, it, no effect on atma there is of sadhana kriya sadhana kriya is not putting any effect on atma at all Sadhana Kriya gross body and fine body, I mean mind, intellect. So, Atma has no effect of Sadhana Kriya at all. It cannot have any effect on Atma, this Sadhana Kriya. And Sadhana Kriya. What, what can do? Sorry, sadhana kriya, sadhana bhakti. That on Chidava's uh, mind and intellect, that Chidava's uh, uh, mind and heart actually it is getting confined into that. What does it mean? That sadhana kriya, that Chidava's mind and intellect in that, it is actually getting confined. It is there, confined there. That it is actually against the topmost time. That sadhana kriya and nitya sadhana bhakti. There is actually a uh, lot of differences there. Normal people, they are not at all actually understanding this concept at all. They are not at all conceptualization in this concept. That those people who are the, those kind of bhakti anga, those bhakti anga, by those bhakti anga who are performing that infinity from infinity time 
and what kind of uh, uh, efforts you are putting for uh, getting that sadhana bhakti that is called sadhana kriya that process you are following of in order to get sadhana bhakti that is called sadhana kriya you understand the point those bhakti ang 64 different kinds of bhakti ang that uh, limbs of bhakti that you are putting some kind of effort that anarthini vritti that kind of uh, efforts you are actually putting to get out of that anarthani vritti that is called sadhana kriya that anarthani vritti after that you are getting out of that that seva vritti you are getting inside your heart when anarthani vritti is getting uh, finished vanquished then seva vritti is getting introduced inside you that shuddha bhakti when actually it is starting when shuddha bhakti or sadhana bhakti when it is starting that after anarthani vritti is gone totally it is actually getting more and more matured sadhana kriya it has no effect on atma at all no effect of on atma at all sadhana kriya is having no effect on atma at all there is no effect but sadhan bhakti definitely gonna put that it is a nitya kriya of our atma the nitya function of natural function of our atma that all anarth when it is gone already then only sadhana bhakti is possible after sadhana bhakti bhav bhakti is there and after that its prem bhakti will come so sadhan bhakti in the in the way of atma it will be having that is the actual natural function of our soul jat chida abhas and on our chida abhas mind and intellect that sadhan kriya is actually applicable on that on atma sadhan kriya is not at all having any effect and is not at all applicable there it cannot be applicable there at all atma dharma that is the actual vritti and the natural behavior that prabhupad ji always used to speak bhakti is the natural function of your show bhakti is the natural function of your show atma ko upar on atma that sadhana kriya it is not at all actually applicable there and on atma dharma that atma vritti and natural behavior that is called actually bhakti which is the natural function of our atma that atma vritti the actual natural behavior that is called uh, bhakti prabhupada always used to speak this sadhan aadi ke dwara by sadhan aadi ke dwara whatever you are doing by that whatever that in order to control those uh, your mind and uh, heart and intellect that whatever kind of kriya or limbs you are following in order to control your mind and intellect that mano dharma different different kind of dharms like mano dharma mano dharma when is actually getting completely vanquished after that only when mano dharma is getting vanquished completely when it is completely destroyed when mano dharma is completely destroyed then atma vritti will get nurtured and getting more matured atma vritti in that atma vritti that sadhan bhakti is after getting manifestation of sadhan bhakti jiva is gradually is getting bhav bhakti and prem bhakti he can get on to those steps or those pathway he can follow after getting on to the uh, stair of sadhan bhakti and the actual topmost uh, matured stage of sadhan bhakti is the only bhav bhakti is the gradual will give you bhav bhakti and will give you prem bhakti like the case there is one 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 actually fruit of mango is actually in a raw state and actually in ripped state an unripped state but still in sadhan bhakti but sadhana kriya it is not at all not at all at that level of sadhana bhakti sadhana kriya is by our body mind and intellect of this body cross and subtle body it is related to that and sadhana bhakti and sadhana kriya all the time 
संबंध रिलेशनशिप एंड डिफरेंस इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंड लॉट ऑफ इन द होल वर्ल्ड एक्चुअली इट्स गोइंग ऑन लाइक दैट एंड प्रोपात स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट अलॉट ऑफ टाइम दैट ओ महोदय गन प्रोपात स्पीकिंग एक्चुअली दिस पॉइंट ऑल यूज प्रोपात ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दिस पॉइंट दैट ओ महोदय गन Just to Kripa, that you you do sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti, and pram bhakti. In between that, what kind of difference is there? That you just need to understand. You just need to make sure. If you will not understand it completely, then there will be great confusion regarding that. In our bhakti samaj nowadays, there is lot of confusion there regarding this. Lot of um, happening is going on on all the four directions. Though who will actually give them bhakti? Everyone actually is there in. Everyone is participating in ragu no bhakti. Everyone that we are our own king, individual kings. We are thinking that we are. We are actually thinking that each and every individual is a king only. So who will actually understand? We will. Uh, we will uh, follow. So this is the actual situation now in the Bhakti Raj. What to do? So this is the actual situation being created now. Prabhupada ji always used to speak that Om Mahadevan. Just try to understand the basic difference between Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti, and Prem Bhakti. Basic difference is Parthak ko hai ye samayne ka. Try to understand the difference. Otherwise, there will be lot of confusion in created in your bhajan, and you will just get thrown out of bhajan, actual bhajan, pure bhajan. That you can get out of uh, that pure bhajan pathway. That yesterday in Brahm Samhita, that Brahma Ji Maharaj, actually by Brahma Ji Maharaj, that that Brahm Samhita is given to us. In that yesterday, at the last uh, at the last uh, shloka, we were actually discussing that. Ananda chinma rasat muttaya manasu ya praninam patibalam smartam upetto lila yite no bhavana ni jayate jasram gobinda madhi purusha tamaham bhaja. Atha? It means. That is Govind. That who is there in the Anand Chinmay Swarup. That kind of uh, he is becoming inside the all the jivas. He is there inside the heart of every jiva. That actually getting inside, manifesting inside each and every jiva. And he is just by his lila chista. That he is topmost Bhavan Vijay. That Swarat Purush Govind is there inside the heart of each and every jiva. That about this Brahma Ji Maharaj has already told regarding this, also. That Bhagwan's name is Ajit. All the time Bhagwan is victorious. That is the name of Bhagwan. Who cannot be? Uh, who, but still, it is written that Bhagwan can be victorious. You can get victory over Bhagwan. You cannot get victory over Bhagwan. His name is Ajit, but still you can get victory. So this is the actual uh, proof is there that maybe the name of Bhagwan is Ajit. You cannot get victory over him, but still you can get victory. He is becoming Jito means that by his own will, just under the under his bhakt's guidance, he is just getting uh, the devotees are getting victory over him. That is the actual uh, effort of Bhagwan regarding his devotees. Why actually I am speaking jivas, individuals, a jiva, individuals? It's not at all human being. In, in the category of jivas, Jambavan in the form of bear, Sugriv in Bali in the in the form of monkey, Angad, everyone, everyone has that eligibility to do Bhagwat Seva. That externally they are in the demonic uh, yoni, in the demonic form. But in Venu Gita also, that even a very small bird, that even a small bird, she is also actually just by hearing the Bhagwan, she is just smelling 
एंड इवन द स्मॉल बर्ड वेरी वेरी स्मॉल बर्ड फील एक्चुअली जस्ट राइजिंग अप हिज इयर्स लाइक ही सी इफ एज इट सम वन इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग रसा इन वन ग्लास दैट काफ इज एक्चुअली जस्ट पुटिंग अप हिज इयर्स अप जस्ट बाई हियरिंग द वम शीज वनी ऑफ कृष्णा about gajendra also you can see the case hiran ka roop mein in the form of deer bharat ji maharaj hiran roop in the form of deer he has just taken birth in the form of deer all actually is there the examples are there regarding this so jini jo govind to that same govind anand chinmay ras swarup mein in that anand chinmay ras swarup that is top most those who are actually doing smaran of bhagwan that that for those jeevas it bhagwan is actually getting inside the heart of those jeevas and that kind of uh, by the actual effort of his leela all the time he is all the time pratishtit inside manifestation is there of bhagwan inside their heart that same govind i am actually worshiping adi purush govind एक्चुअल मीनिंग इज दैट सो दोज पीपल हु आर दोज पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव एंड ऑल द टाइम that are busy in that unnat ujjwal rasa that kind of krishna on the time inside their heart they are actually just thinking of that manmat krishna so that who is actually churning his heart that who is churning his heart with the krishna prema that naam roop gun leela everything is all the time remembering that inside their heart they are actually smarankari inside their heart inside their heart that dham inside their heart dham and leela my krishna is actually getting manifested inside their heart that same manifestation of leela and krishna and dham and leela inside their heart that whatever of this material world all opulence and madhurya of this material world he is actually you are cutting that and throwing it out that kind of manifestation of dham gat leela of transcendental bhagwan inside the heart of those jeevas it's gonna cut and throw the material madhurya and opulent actually it's gonna throw it away from your heart and you will get victory over that material uh, madhurya and opulent mood definitely you will get uh, uh, victory over that about this yesterday i have already discussed it and today 43 number shloka in that i actually it is written yesterday i have already started it also What actually it's written here? Goloko namni, Goloko namni, nijo dhamni, Goloko namni, nijo dhamni, tale chatasho, Devi mahi shohari dhamasu, te shu te shu, te te prabhav nijaya vihita shajeno, Govinda mahi purusha, tamam kaya. Ye kuch nahi hai, binna. This is nothing, this is just one strategy. This Devi Dham. what you can see and over that mahesh dham is there above that and above that that hari dham is there and above that that golok dham is there and that is a nij dham and in those uh, particular dhams that kind of different different effects you can find and different different kind of paraphernalias that same bhagwan 
that who has already decided vidhan means that he decided that same adi purush govind i actually want to worship him devi dham uska upar above that mahesh dham is there above that hari dham is there and above that that topmost uh, above that is golok dham he is already self manifested in form it is uh, present there constantly it is present there and in those same same dham according to the different different effects what kind of vidhan actually is there that same adi purush govind i am actually worshiping him i want i want to worship him i am actually paying dandvat on those lotus feet brahma ji mara speaking the actual purport of this that the actual conclusive point regarding this is that that the top most uh, position is of golok dham the actual purport regarding this that from all the dham the top most dham is golok dham and brahma ji maharaj in satya log he is actually manifesting his leela there and uh, there he is just going towards uh, seeing his eyes up and he is just speaking brahma ji maharaj brahma ji brahma ji is living in satya lok upar mein and he is just putting his eyes up just by uh, seeing up and he is uh, from his uh, uh, satya lok he is actually just seeing up and just pehle uh, avantar why why actually this word is used avantar why avantar means that unwanted unusual unwanted unusual why it is actually spoken like that why because that it has no connection of uh, because atma has no connection of that with that it has no connection with dham that why it is called unwanted so this is all unwanted elements it has no connection with dham at all first is devi dham that this material creation we are actually are actually established now at present situation that is devi dham this material world is there and after that and this all material world satya lok Uh, all those fourteen planetary systems, they are all coming in the category of material creation only. All are destructible. Slowly, slowly, you can go down also. Seven lower planetary systems, seven upper planetary systems. So Brahma, so Brahma ji is just uh, seeing his uh, with his eyes up. He is seeing and he is speaking. Brahma ji is just. from his uh, established uh, lok satya lok that dham that kind of uh, that first devi dham that hari dham the mahesh dham like this in this material creation satya lok is there in this material creation only and shiv dham after getting out of satya lok that you will get a brahma jo brahma jyoti that brahman effulgence that i have already told you yesterday that after that brahman effulgence you when will be going up more then you will find that sadashiv lok you will be getting into sadashiv lok that sadashiv lok you will get into is called shiv dham that is called shiv dham that same dham that in the name of mahakal naam it is actually in full of darkness that mahakalpur and that in that same ansh same part that maha alokmay sada shiv lok is actually there uh, manif- in the manifested form eternally present and above that is hari dham that chit jagat vaikunth lok is there may may be sada shiv lok is also not different from uh, vaikunth dham it is uh, uh, it is there inside vaikunth lok only sada shiv lok is also inside vaikunth lok but still especially that shiv where actually narayan vishnu actually is present eter- eternally ram varaha narsingha everyone is there manifestation of vishnu is there narayan is there so that is called vaikunth dham 
so that's why this actually is being told like this and and again if you go more above that that hari dham that chit jagat vaikunth lok is there vaikunth dham is there and devi dham that inside devi dham that maya vaibhav swarup effect and shiv dham that kind of uh, pra- effect of the shiv dham and vibhin ansh and saransh bhasmay prabhav effect is there but but hari dham having that topmost uh, self manifested prabhav effect and mahamadurcha effect of golok dham this is all kind of different different effects of different different dhams and according to that dham that same govind is there by a different different manifestation by his effect he is there actually has uh, differentiated each and every dham according to that govind only is the actual thing who is doing this differentiation this all already i have discussed this that is the actual destruction vibhinnanch sorry not destruction i am sorry for that vibhinnanch means not vibhinnanch how that from golok dham down and down if you go this uh, that devi dham inside devi dham if you you can think that from brahma till everything down the lower, lower planetary system all 14 planetary system are coming in devi dham only under guidance of devi so that's why bhagwan in gita actually speaking Hey Arjun that from Brahma up till the ant down to the ant everyone everyone is actually getting into the cycle of birth and death cycle of karma that the actual cycle of Maya Devi they are actually running that which is actually having no end and no solution is there for that at all this actually is going on continuously that the cycle of birth and that is continuously going on goloko namni nijo dhamni tale chatashu devi mahesh hari dham shu keshu teshu te te prabhav nichaya bhitascha jeno govind vaadi purusham tam aham bajami goloko namni nijo dhamni tale chatashu devi mahesh hari dham shu keshu teshu स्वरूप इज एक्चुअली प्रोमिनेंट क्योंकि आप जानते वाई बिकॉज यू नो दिस पॉइंट दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ क्रिएशन दैट निमित कारण एंड उपादान कारण इज देयर Nimit, in nimit karan bhagwan's uh, eye is actually going on to the womb of maya by that all previous karm phal whatever jeevas infinity jeevas it is getting into the womb of the maya it is getting into the womb of maya that is called nimit karan and upadan karan in that that mahatatva sadashiv which is come from sadashiv only that all the objects of this material world material matter is coming from and devi dhams maya vaibhav and shiv dham and that kind of mahakal that his mahakal means that time that kind of time space and matter effect will come into that and vibhinnansh saransh bhasmay prabhav and hari dham ka but for hari dham chit aishwarya opulent mood aishwarya and golok dham sarv aishwarya 
all the time madhurmay bhav that even the aishwarya of uh, vaikuntha dham will just get fade that kind of sarv aishwarya maha madhurjimay rasa of that golok dham that aishwarya we are speaking that it's aishwarya is not there in golok dham it's not like that the actual main point there is that that all the aishwarya it is just gonna uh, spoil that and because madhurya is the predominating factor there so it is just getting hidden that uh, shwarya that opulent moon is becoming just faded away and madhuryam actually is getting the primary rasa there and is just getting hidden and vibhinanch all the jeevas actually coming in that and saranch whatever kind of uh, or actually saranch and we in vibhinanch jeevas are coming in that category up till now also some jeev in some uh, kalp has some suitable jeev he is finding that he can get the actual uh, uh, eligibility of brahma and shankar also so where actually saransh but sadashiv that is that is saransh tatva that is not vibhinanch tatva at all so in hari dham that chit aishwarya prabhav fact and in golok dham that sarva aishwarya which is just feeding the all the opulent mood that mahamadurja effect is all the time present there so this kind of all effects what i have already described that same different different dham that same govind is actually manifesting manifesting is manifesting himself and that same govind actually is doing that manifestation of that same bhav in different different forms he is getting the manifestation there that is actual rules iske baad after that jo shlok the shlok i have always always used to speak the shloka devi ka prabhav that the effect of devi about this about this the effect of devi actually has been explained now shishti pulay sadana shakti rika छायाचेष्टोक भगवान स्वरूप शक्ति इज द एक्चुअल शक्ति नित्य शक्ति भगवान स्वरूप शक्ति अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉट एक्चुअली वी सी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दट स्वरूप शक्ति आउट ऑफ दैट इट सीम्स दैट देर इज अनदर शक्ति out of the sarup shakti of bhagwan that shakti what we are actually feeling that it is there that it is not at all sarup shakti at all just by if the sarup shakti is not at all there there is no existence of that shakti at all that is called maya shakti understand the point so in this shakti siddhi palay sadana shakti shakti siddhi mam palay that creation maintenance and destruction all these three processes like a shadow like a shadow it is being controlled jagat palan that that jagat palan karani bhuvanani durga that durga maya mother durga is actually doing that and just by the indication of bhagwan that actual indication instruction of who is actually just going on that that is called durga that the indication and instructions of bhagwan on the actual instructions of bhagwan she is actually following bhagwan that whatever bhagwan wants or that just by the actual instructions of bhagwan that durga actually is following that that is actually called maya shakti स्वरूप शक्ति स्वरूप शक्ति एंड चित्त शक्ति 
दैट काइंड ऑफ शेडो स्वरूप स्वरूप शक्ति और मे बी स्वरूप शक्ति और यू कैन स्पीक यू कैन स्पीक स्वरूप शक्ति और मे बी यू कैन स्पीक चित शक्ति वॉट एवर इज योर विल दैट स्वरूप शक्ति एंड चित शक्ति दैट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ शेडो स्वरूप इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल क्रिएशन मेंटेनेंस एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन दैट सेम माया शक्ति इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दुर्गा इज मैनिफेस्टिंग दैट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट दैट ऑल दो जगत वासीज दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट पेइंग पेइंग प्रेयर्स वर्ल्ड that kind of uh, creation maintenance and destruction that maya shakti in this material world is manifesting in the form of durga bhagwan ka that bhagwan ka ishara just by the instructions of bhagwan she is actually uh, moving and just doing each and every work that same actually is durga only that adi purush govind i just want to worship him i am paying dandvat on to him just by the effect of that everything is going on the actual meaning purport of this is that that in this which in that jagat that brahma is actually swam is there the actual meaning of this is that that in that particular jagat that in satyalok brahma ji is actually manifesting manifested himself that bhagwan brahma ji is swam there that is doing the stuff and stuti of that govind adi purush that in this same in this own phonet uh, in this devi dham of this 14 planetary system that same durga maya that mother durga that this with 10 10 kind of 10 bhuja swarup she is actually manifesting her form like that and by that top most veer pratap swarup she is actually manifesting her swarup here that's why she is actually speaking sihwahan that i have told already from 2 to 3 weeks before in bangla katha regarding this that devi is actually sitting on a on a loin she is actually putting one uh, uh, feet on the loin what do you mean that she is actually just putting pressure on rajogun she is just uh, pressing the rajogun that why actually she is anand mahima you are speaking anand mahima anand mahima means that you just understand this point that she is actually shuddh sattva gun is there externally whatever is there but yogmaya is actually the actual in, uh, indication of shuddh sattva so she is actually just putting his feet on the loin and she is actually just uh, uh, killing that asura one one feet is there on the loin and the other feet is there one feet is there on the loin and that loin is actually putting uh, jumping on that asur and he is killing that asur means that uh, devi is satogun and she is actually dominating the ramur rajogun and rajogun is dominating tamogun so it is the actual example of that durga swarup so dashakarma swarup there's 10 kind of bhuja different different arms that maya durga that she is actually there uh, sitting on the lion that is she is called singh vahini sitting on the lion and who is actually uh, killing all kind of different uh, mahishasur vardhani who is killing the demon mahishasur and different kind of demons she is killing that same kind of who is actually just killing that tamogun completely and whatever kind of uh, sondarja and topmost siddhi that uh, she is actually providing that you just understand that devi devi is decorated with so 
शोभा ब्यूटी एंड सिद्धि इसीलिए इनकी दो लड़का का नाम है शुभा रूपी कार्तिक एंड सिद्ध रूपी गणेश टू नेम्स कार्तिक एंड गणेश देवर एक्चुअली बोर्न एंड मटीरियल मटीरियल विद्या दैट लक्ष्मी एंड सरस्वती दे आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग बर्थ यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट जड जडेश्वरी लक्ष्मी एंड जड विद्या सरस्वती इन मटीरियल मटीरियल सरस्वती मटीरियल लक्ष्मी दे आर एक्चुअली इट इज एक्चुअली दे आर इन बिटवीन दैट एंड वेन एक्चुअली इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्ट्रॉय द सिन that she is ashtadharini having different different kind of uh, weapons in her hands that same durga kal shobha vishishta kal shobha vishishta by kal it is actually getting that natural time is actually controlled by that kal kal rupa shobha vishishta इसीलिए इसका नाम दैट्स स्वरूप सोहिनी शी इज डेकोरेटेड विद दैट सेम सकल दैट सेम विशिष्ट दुर्गा दैट सेम दुर्गा दैट इज दुर्ग विशिष्ट मीन्स हर नेम इज दुर्गम बट इन अप्लाइड फॉर्म मीनिंग को जानना चाहिए इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्चुअल मीनिंग यू कैन फाइंड दैट दुर्ग दुर्गा इज गोइंग टू मेंटेन वन फोर्ट one fourth for all the jeevas where all the jeevas are getting trapped in that all the bonded jeevas are actually putting and the she is actually giving treatment that's why her name is durga durga means she is actually the controller of durga fort all the bonded jeevas are actually getting in and they are getting treated in that and durga means another meaning of durga is कारागृह दैट वी आर स्पीकिंग जेल दैट वी आर एक्चुअली पुटिंग इन टू समेल एंड शक्ति समूह जीवाज ऑल द काइंड ऑफ जीवाज वॉट आर देयर फ्रॉम द टठस्ता शक्ति बाय ऑल द जीवाज विच आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द टठस्ता शक्ति दैट ऑल द जीवाज यूर कमिंग फ्रॉम टठस्ता शक्ति जस्ट बिकॉज दे आर एक्चुअली डाइवर्टेड फ्रॉम कृष्ण they are prapanchik getting into this material in the material jail the material fort they are coming that is called durga so but that krishna those who are doing the seva of krishna those are actually towards willing to do sir to to serve bhagwan bhagwan ko who just wants to serve bhagwan who just wants to serve bhagwan so the his vichar is totally different That's why Shila Sachidanand Bhakti Vinod Thakur. That's why Shila Sachidanand Bhakti Vinod Thakur has just already written regarding this. so those bonded jeevas the all the bonded jeevas that those who are not don't want to do seva of bhagwan they just want to enjoy individually that sense gratification they are having they just want to enjoy this material maya 
those who want to enjoy take enjoyment from this material maya for those people that our maya our mother je durga devi just putting her them into jail and they are he she is actually just giving punishment and treatment and trident means that with the trident she is actually sato rajo and tamogun she is actually giving treatment with that just kill him just give treatment to him punishment so that's why in chatanya chiritamrit also it's already written this already written there prabandu hamito kono bhagwan ji guru krishna prasad pai bhakti ka it's all written like that those who are bonded jeevas that do don't want to serve bhagwan at all they don't have this kind of uh, that everything is there in chetan jirtamrit regarding this japta means that it is just taking uh, like a snake inside that she is rounding us like that that because he is because he is bonded jiva but those who are actually uh, doing krishna seva those who are krishna mukh for them there is no problem of maya devi at all maya devi will not do anything to them at all okay she will speak okay you go to bhagwan no worries she actually just leaving everyone okay okay you go you go and do seva of bhagwan so like this it is there so all those bahirmukh jeevas those who are against krishna seva just in order to get to purify them durga devi is giving them treatment this is the actual seva that is the actual bhagwan seva only no of durga devi what she is performing that for all the bahirmukh jeevas this kind of treatment you just need to give that kind of procedure of punishment to purify their heart sadhan pranali vishishta that sadhan pranali vishishta that pathway that is all actually uh, she is doing according to the will of govind she don't have any kind of will of her own that just by the actual instructions of govind uh, durga devi actually is, uh, durga devi going like that and same durga all the time constant constantly she is actually uh maintaining each and everything by the will of uh, govind and if your luck is very good and if your luck is very good when in uh, association of sadhus that inside the heart of jeevas that kind of bahirmukh bhav it is uh, totally vanquished and is uh, totally destroyed and he is getting into that bhav of krishna seva all the time now we are having bahirmukh bhav when it will become antarmukh that that kind of bhav actually is getting then uh, external that kind of five elements su roop sparsh gandh this kind of uh, anandmay enjoyment of this material nature what we are finding of this panchal khetra that of five material elements in in just associate with that everyone is actually running for that only to get the association of the material elements when you are uh, running towards these material elements will just get over then only just by very good luck only you can get this kind of uh, topmost sadhu sang when all those bonded jeevas are getting the association of those sadhu and that kind of bahirmukh bhat is just getting eliminated from their heart completely and their inside heart internal heart that kind of a natural function of your soul is getting uh, uh, manifested naturally inside your heart at that time at that time that devi ma durga that devi ma durga at that time at that particular time devi ma that govind that devi ma will just uh, by the instructions of govind by the will of govind that same jeeva she will be just uh, uh, actually freeing that uh, jeeva from uh, this material nature bondage and she is actually asking that particular jeeva to go towards bhagavat seva so antarmukh internal bhav just by seeing that just by seeing the internal un- internal bhav that just by seeing the internal bhav if you can see that inside someone if someone 
दैट जस्ट बाई सींग दैट इंटरनल भाव इन सम वन दैट जेल एंड माता जी दुर्गा देवी शी विल शी विल एक्चुअली पुट दैम इन जेल दैट दुर्गा देवी विल जस्ट पुट दैम इन यू जेल दैट इंटरनल भाव दैट इंटरनल भाव दैट देवी मैया इज सींग एंड दैट वेन अवर एक्सटर्नल भाव इज एक्चुअली गोइंग आउट and when our internal bhav it's already seen that natural function of our soul is seen that bhakti then that remedy is done for us and that definitely we can get the nishkapat kripa of devi ma and without that no pathway is open apart from that otherwise this kind of effort should be there otherwise whole life we will be get punishment of durga devi lot of opulent mood is their name fame position everything actually devi you can get from devi maya easily maya devi you can get very easily there but still this you it is not at all good to ask from devi maya this all everything by benedictions from all these benedictions durga devi and maya devi this is actually the kapat kripa of uh, durga maya actually all its kapat kripa so this all this all actually is nothing it is it is just one this is the just by the instructions of bhagwan she is actually just moving in just just cheating everyone in order to cheat everyone maya devi is just sitting just by the will of govind so that with nishkapat nishkapat bhav that kind of kripa bhiksha we can get it is very much necessary and it's good to ask kripa bhiksha it is the actual kapat kripa of durga maya name fame position everything what you are getting this is the actual uh, di, uh, di, distraction and that same durga and that same durga that she is actually just getting manifested in 10 mahavidya in this material world and inside the heart of all those bahirmukh jeevas krishna is actually just manifesting his uh, eternal leela inside their heart you know that 10 mahavidya lot of there are the names are there you already know that no lot of names are there regarding this are actually 10 mahavidya spot uh, devis this that same durga that same 10 mahavidya it is just getting manifested in this material world that kind of krishna bahirmukh jeevas that kind of uh, manifestation of material leela she is actually Uh, getting manifested inside the heart of bonded jeevas that is the actual work of durga devi that is not at all pure adhyatmik it's not pure purely spiritual but it's some matter is mixing in, in that vidya in that knowledge jeevas what is the actual introduction of jeeva okay those jeevas having the different meaning that they are jeev is actually chinmay it is chitkan swarup of bhagwan it is chitkan swarup chinmay i have already told you before a lot of time that inside jeevas that nitya that jeevas they are chinmay gyanmay anandmay prakashmay everything jeevas are there like what qualities are there in krishna same jeevas are also having that they are not at all material they are chinmay but the only difference between that is that it is very infinitesimally small just like very small like an atom and bhagwan is actually qualitatively is all the same but quantitatively huge difference is there the actual swarup of atma if you will just uh, make sure that by getting the actual vichar you can understand that it is all the same with bhagwan qualitatively it's all the same with bhagwan but quantitatively if you make a uh, di- di- uh, comparison there will be difference that jeeva should not be having that bahirmukh bhav why they are getting that bahirmukh bhav 
that jiva should not get bahirmukh bhav no it is strictly prohibited but why actually who will actually ask that it is strictly prohibited for jivas because jeev is chinmay how he can get into material bondage and the actual chetan dharma of the jivas that according to their own independence what they have got so who will actually speak that you should not do this they have their own independent will every jiva so we can't speak anything even krishna is not at all indulging in these cases so that's why that by by this bahirmukh ex- external dosh fault in chaitanya jnanamrita it is written Maya Devi is actually taking them into consideration. This is the actual trap of Maya. So what's the... Why Krishna has become Bahirmukh? Because it's Anadi. It's from infinity period. That there is no uh, solution and uh, reason behind that. That why he has become Bahirmukh from Krishna. Jeevas. There is no reason for that. Because it's from infinity time period it's going on. This is the actual solution. That Bahirmukh Krishna, Bahirmukh Jeeva is just getting that Bahirmukhta from Krishna. He is actually getting attracted from that Akarshan Shakti of Maya and is becoming uh, distorted. Jeeva is actually Jathastha Shakti of one, time, one, one place you can see the enjoyment of material, uh, material Maya and the other uh, way you can see the Seva Vilas of Bhagwan. and jeevas having this independent will where they actually want to go they are actually tathasta shakti where actually they are saying that infinity vilas enjoyment of maya those jeevas are actually get attracted to that and that chinmay uh, vilas seva of Bhag- the bhagwan because and if you'll go towards my okay you can go no worries it's your independent will that's why bhagwan is not at all putting any kind of barrier in their independent will so that's why jeeva chitkan inside them that krishna that bahirmukh and faults of krishna in this material world that kind of uh, by the attraction power of maya it is actually getting distracted and distorted and fall in his consciousness fall down just by getting attracted towards maya just with the with the distortion of uh, by the maya devi towards jiva durga devi is just uh, just like a jailer she is actually just putting one kind of uh, a jailer costume to the jivas what do you mean by that that they are giving the jailer costumes to the jivas they haven't actually served bhagwan so they have become the j- uh, jailer of whom they have actually become the jailer of durga devi so that's why durga devi is just putting them in uh, in the bars of this what is their actual dress their body their their subtle body and uh, fine body by that gross body what they are getting in this material life that is the actual uh, bondage for them that is that i am doctor i am scientist this kind of recognition they are getting i am his father i am his wife i am his husband this kind of title this is actually called maya that this is called actually dress costume of the jail this is actually this decoration is not at all there then apparent decoration will be there this decoration when you are getting in this material world we are get feeling very nice because this attraction should be there no towards that just by taking this kind of uh, uh, jailer dress costume that we are actually getting this kind of costume from maya devi and we are actually our atma is getting inside that uh, 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 subtle and gross body conception and we are actually getting into the cycle of birth and death
this kirtan is actually very important so in the in the cycle of birth and death and karma we are actually getting thrown into that and all the jivas actually is just going into this uh, cycle of birth and death and just like a turbulent he is just running in that and uh, all the time from infinity time is just uh, running in this uh, cycle of birth and death that's it jivas that actually just getting into this uh, cycle of karma birth and death and like this they are getting sometimes uh, happiness sometimes unhappiness sometimes heaven sometimes hell and all respect disrespect they are actually getting the result in chaitanya jitam it is written so this is our actual situation what to do so apart from this when you are leaving this apart from this when you are leaving this that inside our gross body that mind intelligence false ego this is fine body is also there in our subtle body which you cannot see externally by your eye material eyes you cannot see that but definitely they are there inside our for inside inside us in the fo- in fine form jeev birth after birth birth after birth jeevas jeevas are birth after birth actually just uh, running the cycle of birth and that and they are just getting one they are one uh, just getting rid of one a uh, subtle body and they are getting taking the another gross body so this is the actual cycle of birth and that they are getting into that chakra of maya devi they are actually just leaving one body and in fine in fine form actually going into the other subtle body they are just taking that just by leaving another one to when you are not at all, up till that point when you are not at all getting mukti at that up till that stage when you are not at total uh, not at all getting mukti the jeevas that uh, avidya that their fine body it will it will not get destroyed definitely it will stay bhakti mata ko return in kirtan So in this kirtan, when you will be going ahead, it's already written there. What actually written here? What actually is written? bhagwan's naam if a slightly uh, reflection we can get inside our heart then everything we can get in life even a slight realization of bhagwan's name krishna naam is getting inside our heart then topmost uh, jeal- uh, jealousy of this material desires uh, inside our heart it will just like a fire it will just get destroyed and vanquished it will just go towards that destruction it will go towards destruction and that material body will just get fractured and this gross body and fine body will definitely definitely got destroyed because when our ling body that gross body will not get destroyed then up till that point that kind of cycle of birth and that will be inevitable it will go on it definitely you will get no one no father can stop that at all this material fine body this gross body it just need to destroy that completely that ling sharir that gross body just need to destroy it completely when 
you will not at all destroy that link body that cross body then there is no other uh, uh, solution available for you to get out of this material maya so that krishna bahirmukh jivas if you are getting that then by this uh, kind of fault that maya devi in this material world in this material world maya devi that kind of by material maya attraction the, she is actually just making all the jiva distorted and distracted and just by getting distorted and distracted by that along with that durga devi she will be just uh, taking them into the jail of durga but before that she is actually giving us a costume of a jail that the prisoners also having one dress no one costume so similarly durga devi also giving us this costume of a prisoner and this kind of five material material elements of body and this uh, or ekadash indri all those material sense organs it is getting inside our body and we are actually getting into that karma chakra all the time and jivas they in this uh, cycle of birth and death they just uh, going round and round and becoming mad in that sometimes good something bad disrespect respect sometimes soft sometimes hard where to go there is no pathway open oh my god what to do they are just just uh, going on uh, enjoying that and apart from that inside our subtle body apart from that inside our uh, subtle body that mind intelligence and false ego this link sharir this fine form body will definitely with this is the actual karan sharir the karan body the reason for it is because linga sharir karan sharir this is the actual reason that sukshma fine body it is the actual reason that i will be going uh, this uh, in the other in the other uh, species i will go and take birth this is the actual reason for that this there is one uh, shari this body ling sharir and one subtle body you are actually leaving that in a very fine form that ling deha that can transfer into the other subtle form of the body in the other species just up till when you will not at all getting mukti when you are not at, not attaining the stage of mukti that kind of durvasna towards the material desires all the jivas will be uh, getting that up till uh, the jivas are not at all getting the stage of mukti jivas that kind of avidya durvasna material desire this link body will not at all go away it will not at all destroy at all and that uh, pro- procedure gradual procedure under the guidance of pure guru vishnu i have told that by harin doing harinam sankirtan that just by taking the actual shelter of the krishna naam that a uh, ling body will just get raptured totally destroyed into pieces this is very much important to get out of this material maya and this ling body this fine body when it is totally destroyed when this ling body is totally destroyed then after that that jeevatma can go towards the virja river and can take bath there for this jeevatma that we are actually speaking jeevatma as a stri ling this is actually shakti ansh no she is female she is actually female because all the big big acharya actually speaking they are actually male male form but it's not like that atma is actually female form tatastha shakti means it's female so a lot of acharyas have already seen that they are speaking that it's a punarling punarling means it's a male form but it's not like that they are speaking wrong so this linga sharir when actually is totally destroyed this jeevatma can uh, just go towards virja and can take bath in virja river and then that jeevatma can go from brahmalok towards bhagavad dham in haridam she can get that by having getting that ling body that jeevatma cannot get out of this uh, virja river what does it mean virja means that actual demarcation between the material world and the transcendental world starting of the transcendental world virja actually is uh, of chinmay jagat in this virja just by taking bath in this what do you mean viraja virja means vigato raja that 
दैट मे बी स्लाइटली स्मेल ऑफ मटीरियल काम और सम फॉल्स ही को मटीरियल फॉल्स ही को इज देयर दैट मी एंड माइंड मीन्स रजोगुंड इज टोटली डिस्ट्रॉयड टोटली डिस्ट्रॉयड रजोगुंड नो स्मेल ऑफ रजोगुंड विल बी देयर आफ्टर जस्ट टेकिंग बाथ देयर इन विरेजा ऑल गिविंग सोप डिटर्जेंट टू दैट चीज लाइक यू आर टेकिंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ आई विल टेकिंग बाथ ऑल काइंड ऑफ बैड थी स्मेल एंड एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग आउट ऑफ ए बॉडी इन द सेम मैन एंड जीव आत्मा वैन विल बी जस्ट बी डिस्ट्रॉइंग हिज कार एंड बॉडी दैट लिंग शरीर इज ए टोटली डिस्ट्रॉयड फॉर अ जीव आत्मा दैन आफ्टर दैट दैट जीव आत्मा कैन जस्ट टेक बाथ इन विरजा रिवर एंड आफ्टर टेकिंग बाथ इन विरजा रिवर दैट इज ट्रांसडेंटल रिवर दैट इन्फिनिटी विरजा रिवर इन दैट शी विल बी टेकिंग बाथ जीव आत्मा आफ्टर दैट वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ स्मेल ऑफ रजोगुंड and the moment it will totally get destroyed and after that getting destroyed that jeevatma it will go to haridham that haridham means that vaikunth dham golok dham it will the jeeva will go there and so this all kind of uh, activities this kind of activities what devi maiya that durga devi maya devi that same devi maiya the mother devi she is actually doing different different kind of seva for bhagwan that is by which instruction or by which will uh, she is doing so so chest of this so is channel ko bhi jo chest of this ata it means that bhagwan just by the actual instruction of bhagwan just by the will of govind bhagwan that devi maiya is actually getting the instructions of devi uh, bhagwan and whatever kind of karm we are doing the she is doing performing different kind of activities but she is actually becoming very shy in coming in front of bhagwan she is just uh, uh, shugging his head down shugging his head down that i am ho oh, thakur that this is your actual seva but still so so bad seva the seva is so bad that i am actually getting shy why because all the jeevas actually i just need to take it and just need to put in jail and just need to give them punishment and then after that i just need to free them what is this but still I, actually it's your seva that's why i am performing just by getting that shy mood devi maiya is not at all getting in front of bhagwan also and she is actually feeling very shy with shrugging his head she is actually uh, can't come in front of bhagwan at all bhagwan ka samne that she cannot come in front of bhagwan at all she don't want to come at all because she is feeling very shy to do this kind of activities what bhagwan has given to him she don't want to come at all in front of bhagwan what to do and i have already told you about vyas dev ji apashyat purusham purnam mayan chatvapasrayam he bhi batata hai this i have already told you vyas dev ji about vyas dev ji that bhakti yoge na manasi pranihit amale bhakti yoge na manasi parihit amale apashyat purusham purnam mayan chatvapasray that by the instructions of narad ji that inside his topmost bhav he is actually feeling very much uh, bad but after that vyas dev ji actually just by the instruction of narad ji is getting the darshan of bhagwan and behind that he can see that maya devi is just with the shrugging her head with a very shy mood she is just standing very far away from bhagwan so what to do that in front of bhagwan she actually is very much feeling shy and ashamed by coming in front of bhagwan devi ma maya devi what do, what do we are speaking here vilajya manaya jasu stato ikha pati amuya vimohita vikat vikat thante mama ho miti durdhiyo main mera that me and my conception by that that kind of uh, uh, that atma is getting uh, tainted coated and tainted by rusted by that material conception getting contaminated by that material conception yahi bhagwan swaroop ka 
So that's by this only by Bhagavad Bhajan, that kind of Bahirmukh Bhav of all those bonded Jeevas, that kind of uh, relationship with Durga, it is just like they have got faded away. That there are a lot of things are getting in front of the relationship with Bhagwan. That who am I and what is my relationship with Bhagwan? And what is the I have seen, what I have heard that what is my actual relation with Maya? And what is the actual relationship with Bhagwan with Maya? And what is my relationship with this material relationship? What is my relationship with Guru? So all these questions and kind of uh, sambandh, it is it comes in category of sambandh gyan. So that uh, by uh, the uh, by the vichar of Bhagavad Bhajan, that that for Bhai Mur Jiva, that Durga Devi, that relationship actually is getting uh, uh, confirmed with the Durga Devi. In this material world, that kind of puja, what we can see of Durga Devi, of Maya Devi, that same Durga, that same Durga only, which actually just giving punishment in the, and putting all the prisoners in the jail, all the bonded jivas, because Bhagavad Dham. But those, those, those who are actually getting onto lotus feet of pure Guru Vishnu and Bhagavan, that same Durga, she is actually putting them away from the material bondage and she is actually giving a place uh, in Bhagavad Dham. That, that Yoga Maya Krishna Dasi, that Chaya Durga, she is actually Dasi of, of this Yoga Maya and in the form of uh, Mahamaya, it is just a shadow of that Yoga Maya. So this is the actual rule what to do. So, very nice vichar, it is their beautiful vichar. Just by not understanding all this vichar, we will not at all get bhakti inside of our heart. Even bhakti will not start at all. So very much difficult the bhakti will come in us. So this all, it is actually, we are actually uh, discussing that in front of you. Durga Devi, about with that Bhakti Nothakur already told. So in this all meanings are there actually. Bhakti Nothakur in Kirtan also written, no? Everything is there in that Kirtan. What actually Bhakti Nothakur told? What kul? That Guru kul. Guru in the in the family of Guru, all Radharani, in the bunch of Radharani, everyone. That Kula Devi. That you are my actually the actual Devi of my uh, family of my Guru. They belonging to that. Why? Because Prabhupada ji, lot of time speaking regarding this, that actual Shakta that material people of this material world those who are actually worshipping Kali and Durga and they are actually getting we are speaking that we are doing Shakta we are actually doing Shakti Puja we are doing material Puja but they are not at all actually Shakta actual Shakta they are not at all actual Shakta if you will make a uh, neutral platform if you come and make Vichar that by that Vichar you can understand that they are not at all actual Shakta they are Shakta, but they are not at all real Shakta. They are actually fake Shakta. They are actually fake Shakta. We are the actual uh, real Shakta. Why? Because Radharani, that she is actually not different from Govind, that Shakti. And those who will be doing that Shakti, that is Shakta. So actual by actual vichari, if we can come to this consideration, we are actual Shakta. They are actually, they are not, at, they, are not they are fake Shakta. They are not at all real Shakta at all. Prabhupada speaking, you used to speak this, that we are the actual Shakta, that, that you are not at all Shakta, but Bhaktivinoda Thakur is speaking it rightly only, that Kula Devi, hey Kula Devi, Yoga Maya, would you please do Kripa on me? And the second place it is written, That is a Devi of her Kul, of her, from the lineage or family of her Gurudev. She is the actual Devi. And you just do Kripa on me. And from our eyes, you just need to put off the curtain of Maya Devi from our eyes. And 
and we have heard already in the vedas and in the agam agam nigam and the vedas everywhere there is actually glorification i have heard bhakti mun thakur writing that we have already seen your and heard your glorification in agam gam and vedas and i have already heard this that those who are actually those who don't want to do bhajan of krishna those who are vimukh from krishna you are actually just putting them in the prison and you are actually giving them punishment and by top most luck if someone in in the life of uh, some jiva that uh, he wants to do the association of pure guru vishnu want to do bhajan actually you are doing the same kripa on those devotees and they are actually you are actually giving them bhajan power to do krishna bhajan that you actually are giving them mukti and you are doing kripa on them ashok means that inside the him that no tension no jealousy nothing is there everything is destroyed completely abhay means that fearlessly you are giving him topmost uh, kripa to those devotees very nice kirtan bhakti mo thakur has written very nice kirtan so nice kirtan everyone mar mahajan sir kirtan so oh my god that if you can give us nishkapat kripa on us please you give nishkapat kripa on us this is our this is our actual prayer to you and the uh, uh, rest is the actual will of bhagwan and rest is the will of bhagwan this is our actual request towards bhagwan and rest is the uh, so now i actually have to give a rest up till this point because the time is very less you just forgive me for that i have to leave today up till this point evam janam nipatitam prabhavahi kupe कामुयापतनो प्रसंगा कृत्वात्मशातुसुरसिना भगवान्गृहत सो अहम कथम नु विश्रीय तब भीत सेवांचकुर्वशिकसिंधुज पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो नम